a basket. We're gonna punch on a basket. This, I put my plant in here and it's really super cute. I got this from Ikea and I will link it up on the resources section if you want to try and get one from Ikea. If you wanna try and buy one on your own, you're gonna to wanna to look for something that's a flat woven material. So woven, um, they weave the basket together and these have flat strands to them, if you can see and not the skinny strands. Some baskets are a skinny strand. You're gonna want a flat strand, and you're also gonna to wanna to make sure you can kinda of see the holes in the basket. So you can see through the basket. You can see little holes if you look through the basket. And you want it to be a single layer, not two double layers, because the double layer will prevent the needles from going through and allowing you to punch. So those are the basics. Um, this one's from Ikea, I said that before. And then, yeah, so to start, you just trace your design onto the actual basket. I um, freeballed mine. I've um, done enough letters, I guess, throughout my years that I just freehanded my letters. If you want, you can open up a Word doc or a Canva doc and um, play around with what fonts you like. You're gonna wanna pick a really thick font and you can put it on onto the piece of paper and print it off and then use that as an outline if you wanted to trace it. If you're free balling like me, one of the tips I have is to kind of flatten it. This one, I, I kind of wanted it to be in the center. Um, and so then I flatten it like this to kind of, when I traced it, to see if my letters were in between the handles. So I'm gonna put love on this side. So I flattened my basket out and then you kind of eyeball it halfway in between. So you're gonna figure two letters on this side and two letters on this side. So sometimes I will actually start with the O and then go over to the L to kind of gauge it. Um, that's another tip. This time I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the L. So I have it about spaced where I want it and then I'm just going to draw my letter I already did this for practice. I'm gonna draw my letter onto the basket and I am just using a regular number two pencil because it, um, it wrote really well on this basket. And um, then you won't be able to see it as well if you, your yarn doesn't cover some of your tracing, you can't really see the pencil. So that's another tip. And then to start punching, I try to punch in the holes as much as possible. You can punch into the strands of the basket weave. Um, I did that on this side and it didn't, it, everything held up. It held the yarn, nothing slipped out. The basket's still very sturdy. But in order to keep it sturdy, I wanted to keep it inside the holes. So I tried to do that as much as possible. You're not probably going to be able to do it with every single punch hole, and that's fine, it, it worked just as well. So you punch through your first hole and you're gonna outline your letter first. So I punch through at the top of my L and I'm going to pull the yarn through to the other side. Remember your yarn tail needs to be loose. And then I just go and make my outline of my L following that line that I already put in there. And you will come across some parts that are not inside a hole and like I said earlier that is okay you can do that I just when you're filling it in try to hit the holes as much as possible but on the outline it was um, especially important to see the actual outline and make it so it looks like a real letter L I also another tip so right here I kind of got off guard or offline, it's gonna be crooked and I don't want it to be crooked. So I'm gonna take that out, which you can do on these baskets. And I'm gonna go up here and hit that hole instead. And you can kinda of look ahead to where your holes might hit your outline and where they might not. There I went inside the weave and it's completely fine if you can see that. I went inside the weave there too. There's a hole and then there's a hole. And then to turn, you simply turn the basket and turn your needle and go along your edge. 
When you're tracing your um, design on there, you might want to uh, make your edge the edge of your basket. And sometimes I am going off of my outline because um, the basket to me is going to have a straight line. So I'm just following the weave to make my line instead of following my tracing. Turning another corner and just outlining. And there we go. And then once you have the outline of your letter, you simply fill it in. So here I have, you just color it in with the yarn. You just color it in with the yarn. And here, I, again, I still tried to hit the holes as much as possible. And sometimes I went into a hole once or twice, which is fine. Also did the whole outline into the middle on this one. just like that and you just keep going around until it's all filled in and do not forget your yarn tail And then once you're done, you're going to pull your yarn out of the basket or pull your yarn out of your needle a little bit. Use your scissors to trim the tail and then just pull your needle out. And that's, that's how you do it. It's as simple as that. And you can trim your tails inside to make it a little bit nicer looking. And if you are gifting this or selling it to somebody, you could um, use an acid-free glue and some fabric to kind of cover that inside to kind of hold it down. That's it. Super easy. Have fun with it. And don't forget to share what you make on hashtag North Shore Crest. <laughs>